The Super Bowl is just around the corner and it is coming to the city of Glendale, Arizona in just a couple weeks. There are going to be hundreds of thousands of people coming to Glendale to watch the Super Bowl. Unfortunately, the home team will not be in it. Uh, the, Char the Cardinals did not look that good this year. Besides that, though, I want to go through the pros and cons of living in Glendale. I think there's going to be a lot of tension on Glendale coming up here with people coming here. and They're going to be wondering, is this a good place to live? If not, why isn't it a good place to live? And I really think pros and cons, I do this on a few different other cities. I just think it gives you a good idea of if it's a good place for you and uh, if it's not a good place for you. So I always like to go through the pros and cons. I actually bought my first house here in Glendale. So I know a lot about the city. I know the good things about it and why I would buy a house here. And I also know the bad things about it because I've lived here for a little bit. So I'm gonna be very honest with you. I'm not here to sugarcoat anything. I'm also not here to not sugarcoat stuff that's good about it. So we're gonna do a very honest breakdown of someone who's lived in Glendale and see if it's a good fit for maybe you want to live here. My name is Trevor Bragg. I try to give you everything you need to know about living in Phoenix. I've got this free moving to Phoenix guide, 100% free. My email number on the screen if you want that thing. It's everything I wish I knew before I moved to Phoenix about six years ago. It's a really helpful guide. If you want it, just reach out to me. All right, so pro number one is going to be its location. So when you look on a map, you have Phoenix. That's one of the largest cities. I think it's the fifth largest city in the United States. And that is the central location of the Phoenix area. Makes sense. Just east of that is the famous city of Scottsdale. So the east border of Phoenix is Scottsdale. And the west border of Phoenix is going to be Glendale, Arizona. Not nearly as famous as Scottsdale, but it's still some name value, especially with the Cardinals playing there. And we used to have the Coyotes, although they left. And so its location is very prime compared to a lot of the other surrounding cities because it's very central. I mean, South Glendale is practically 10, 15 minutes away from downtown Phoenix, if not closer. And uh, even North Central, you're probably 25 minutes away from downtown Phoenix. So even the farthest part of Glendale, you're still extremely central. Uh, you have easy access to the 101, to the 17, to the 10, all those main freeways, which are probably the three most popular freeways and maybe also the 51 uh, in the Phoenix area, you're extremely close to. So you have really easy access to all those things. And yeah, it's just, it's central. It's as central as you can get outside of Phoenix, which is the main city. Any other city, Glendale is just as central as Scottsdale. So yeah, the location is very prime for Glendale. Con number one, since it is central, this is actually kind of similar to Phoenix also, uh, the city expanded out. So the homes were built as we went out. And so there's a lot of older homes in Glendale. I mean, maybe the newest you would find is like the late 90s. There's some in Arrowhead Ranch, but especially like central Glendale and south, a lot of homes built 50s, 60s, and maybe the 70s. As you go a little bit more north, you see 70s and 80s a lot more. So there's not kind of that modern style with the tile roofs. Uh, you have a lot of composite roofs and it's just not as appealing nowadays. And also the build styles are going to be not as appealing uh, because of that. So you're not gonna have as open of a floor plans. You're gonna have some more separated dining rooms rather than one large great room. So, so that's definitely a con for a lot of people that are wanting a more modern house. That's really not an option here in Glendale. And along with this house's train, uh, we're talking about living in Glendale, the pros and cons, uh, the prices are just lower in Glendale. And that's because the homes are a little bit older. And we're going to get to a few other reasons why prices might be a little lower as well. Uh, but prices are cheaper. It's a really good first home for people. Um, that's why we bought there. Uh, you could buy a home that we liked uh, in Glendale in our price range where we couldn't in a place like Peoria or in a place like Scottsdale or Chandler or Gilbert. You can't afford some of those places when you're a first time buyer. You can in Glendale and still get a good sized home. Uh, not to mention taxes tend to be lower there than in other cities. Uh, so yeah, Glendale overall is going to be a cheaper housing for you. And houses are cheaper, older houses, you're not gonna have too many nice communities. So when you compare it to a place like Scottsdale, which has some of the highest end communities in the world, uh, a place like Phoenix, which also has some really nice communities like Norterra or Ahwatukee or Deer Valley, and then a place like Peoria with great communities, Chandler with great communities, Glendale really lacks that kind of community feel where it's a master plan community with sidewalks, with parks and sides, maybe even a rec center and an HOA. There's very few HOA places in Glendale. Uh, really the only communities, they are building some closer to Westgate. Uh, but really other than that, you have Arrowhead Ranch is going to be your only master plan community in Glendale where you have a large HOA, you got a golf course going through a really nice community. But other than that, it's gonna be mostly no HOA areas and really no like 
communities that people are like really desiring these days. Again, on the flip side of that, a big pro to Glendale is that the size of lots tend to be larger than uh, any of these newer communities. So a place like Peoria and Surprise, it's tough to find a place with larger lots because it's new builds. And new builds these days, they try to maximize as much money as they can. And so instead of giving you a larger lot, which doesn't add a ton of value, they shrink the lot sizes and sell more homes because that's what brings in the highest return. Whereas Glendale, you're gonna have the option for larger lots. There's even some horse properties in Glendale as well as in Peoria, which really those lines overlap. The mapping is weird. When people think Peoria, they kind of think above the 101 in general. So I'd say south of that is usually more favored towards Glendale. But anyways, there are some uh, horse properties over an acre. Uh, even the standard size lots are gonna be much larger than any of these new build communities compared to a place like Surprise. Uh, it is going to have much smaller lots just in general. And now another reason that prices are lower um, is because South Glendale is known for its higher crime rate. It's known for its high crime. I mean, I know a lot of police officers, uh, they prefer not to be stationed in South Glendale. They don't mind North Glendale at all. And that's just simply due to it's a lot more um, congested down there. There's a lot more lower income housing and thus there tends to be a lot more crime in those areas. It's very close to Maryville, uh, which is a city in Phoenix or which is a subdivision in Phoenix. And that's usually known as one of the highest crime parts of Phoenix. And so South Glendale is right next to that. Uh, not to mention you're really close to the 10. When you tend to be close to the 10, it used to be not as nice uh, in the Phoenix area. And so all that put together, South Glendale is known for higher crime. Um, one of the higher crime rate areas in the entire Phoenix area is gonna be South Glendale, and then also close to downtown, some of the surrounding parts of that. Uh, so yeah, that's definitely a big con to Glendale is the Southern part, not typically one of the most desired places that people are moving to. Uh, unless they absolutely have to. Now, this is surprising because Glendale, it's an older home, uh, it has a little bit higher crime. Uh, one of the big pros to Glendale is actually that it has a lot of entertainment. Now, it doesn't have as much entertainment as downtown Phoenix where they've got the baseball stadium, they got the Suns down there, tons of bars, restaurants, and definitely not as much as Scottsdale. But besides that, I'd argue that Glendale has the third most entertainment in the Phoenix area, and it's not small. I mean, they have the State Farm Stadium. That's where the Arizona Cardinals play. They have the Westgate Entertainment District, which is a large entertainment district. The Coyotes used to play there. Now it is a uh, Desert Diamond Arena is there. So they have concerts all the time there. I mean, Taylor Swift, when she came here, she went to the State Farm Stadium in Glendale. And that's right a part of that Westgate area. That Westgate area, it's a really cool design. Um, I got to admit, I don't love all the restaurants in Westgate, but uh, it does have some cool bars over there. And it's just a cool environment. It kind of feels like you're inside of the stadium but really you're just in this large like kind of mall shopping restaurant area and so there's a ton of restaurants there and more known for its bars but it always has some sort of event happening whether it be a big concert uh, inside the actual desert diamond arena not the state farm arena whether it be a concert or they always have live music every weekend outside or they'll have ufc fights there they just have tons of stuff going on there's a comedy club there there's just a lot to do in Westgate and not to mention right across the street is the Tanger Outlet. So you have a shopping mall. I mean, you literally just have, you're able to walk over to it. So yeah, the Westgate Entertainment District, I'd say is probably the third best entertainment in the Phoenix area. It's pretty close to Tempe. It kind of depends on your age range. Tempe is a little bit more of the college vibe. Um, so if you're not in college, you're probably leaning a little bit more towards Westgate, but you know, it's either here or there. It's definitely up to your preference. And right across the street uh, from this State Farm Stadium, they've been building this area up like crazy, is Top Golf. So that's one of the best entertainments I personally think in the Phoenix area. There's one in Glendale and there's one in Scottsdale. And the one in Glendale is really nice. It's got TV screens against the back wall. Uh, so you have Top Golf there. And then right across the street from that is the Via Resort, uh, which isn't built yet. They want it to be done uh, before the Super Bowl comes. It doesn't look like that's going to happen, at least just driving by and looking at it. It's probably going to be one of the biggest resorts in Phoenix. It, if not, it is the biggest resort in Phoenix. And it's got a really cool design. I mean, check this out. It's like this huge pool area with sand all around it. And you got these kind of sand bars in the middle where you can hang out on. They're going to have a huge DJ set up front. It looks like a really cool setup. It's just uh, who knows how long until that's actually finished. It sounds like it's pretty big headache where they have so many different pieces subcontracted out and that's just what I'm hearing on the streets of what's going on at Via that it's a little bit behind schedule and they've got less than a month uh, to get it going there. Next con is that uh, like I said about Westgate I think it has a little bit of lack of restaurants and again I'm really just comparing to surrounding cities in Phoenix. 
A place like Peoria is going to have a lot better restaurants, in my opinion. They just tend to be a little bit nicer, a little bit more modern. You have the P83 area. You've also got the other area that is near Westgate, but actually technically Peoria, which is called Park West. So they got some good restaurants over there. They've got a movie theater. That's a nice area for restaurants. P83 has got a ton of great restaurants. Westgate, I just don't love them as much. And, and really, the rest of Glendale doesn't have any great restaurants, in my opinion. There's a few, you know, good ones, but just not as good as surrounding cities. Phoenix definitely has a ton more options. Scottsdale's got a ton more options. So does Chandler and Gilbert. So I think it lacks the more modern, nicer restaurants, in my opinion. Uh, that's just definitely a personal take from living here. I think they could use some nicer restaurants. And my last con, I mean, this is just Phoenix in general, but it's super hot in Glendale. So maybe if you're just really just weighing out total pros and cons to Glendale, a big con in Glendale, I couldn't say cons of Glendale, Arizona without saying it, it's extremely hot here. Now today it was actually cold. I think it got a high of 55, which is extremely cold for Phoenix people. When it gets into the 50s, I mean, you're seeing jackets and pants and possibly even gloves in Phoenix. Uh, and that's because in the summers we're hitting 115 to 120 fairly regularly. And yeah, it's extremely hot in Glendale. It's not fun to be in 120 degrees, but you live with it. In my personal opinion, I'd always rather it be 115 than have to wake up and shovel snow every day. That's just my personal opinion. Much easier to uh, walk to my car and have a little sweat and then just turn on the AC, whereas waking up uh, an hour early and shoveling snow. That's the give or take uh, that I tend to, tend to argue with uh, when it comes to uh, dealing with the heat. So those are my pros and cons of Glendale. The Super Bowl's coming here, and I just wanted to give you a breakdown of what it might be. If you're thinking of living here, what's what's a good reason, what's a bad reason to live here? My personal opinion, I'd probably more recommend Northern Glendale. I think that's a really nice area. There's some really nice homes up there, and uh, Southern Glendale is just known for being not as nice of an area due to its higher crime rate. So that's my biggest breakdown. Those are the main things you need to know about the city. If you're thinking of moving to Phoenix or moving to Glendale, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, I'm a realtor here in the area. I'd be happy to help you. I've also got that free moving to Phoenix guide. So if you want that, send me an email. My phone number and email are on the screen. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos like this.